banana peppers. Okay, today is gonna be an unboxing. We might talk about like meteor life things. So I don't know, we might, we might get into like some less cheerful conversations today. I don't know, so if you're not in the mood for that, oh no, it finally fell. I've just like filmed a couple of videos and I had these little pigtails and they were literally just living on a prayer. They weren't really pigtails, it's like two space buns. Um, but I just filmed a couple of videos because I kind of feel like this week is going to be like, oh, not fun. Um, and so I was like trying on clothes and all kinds of stuff. And these little things were just like holding on by like one elastic each. You guys, I'm in like kind of a weird mood. I don't even know what to say. Um, so my godfather passed away today. He's like 88 years old. So, I mean, he lived a full life, but it's still just, like, one of those things that you just never, like, even, you know, like, even when you, ex like, you know that things are going to happen, like, you're still just, like, you kind of are not necessarily prepared for it. So, I don't know. It's kind of just, like, a weird day, like, a weird moment. And, um, you know, the service is going to be later this week, and I'm, like, oh, I'm just, like, not, I don't know. Maybe let's not talk about that, honestly. Maybe it's, like, just too upsetting to think about i feel like sometimes i end up like just coping with things by just kind of like pushing through and doing like three times more work than what i normally do and just kind of like trying to focus on other things i'm not sure if that is like extremely healthy or not but that's what i'm gonna be doing and now my hair is atrocious and it's held up by four bobby pens so wish me luck um so i don't know i don't know where the conversation is gonna go today but thank you guys for being here thank you for being my friend thank you for listening and let's look at some cute little keychains and i don't know i just got through like a surprising amount of videos i feel like i did really well i feel like i had like good energy today and I don't know about you guys, but like, okay, I have this like concept of like spirit guides, which is maybe like, I don't know. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really want to come on here and like get into any kind of like super philosophical or like religious sounding stuff to you guys. Cause I know that y'all are not here for that. You know, like kind of the same conversation I had in my video on this channel the other day. Like everybody has their own like thoughts and beliefs and opinions. I'm like not here to push anything on anybody. Um, but I don't know, like sometimes I feel like my friends and relatives that have passed, like sometimes like guide me or help me in some way. Um, and I, I don't know, I'm, I'm really looking for my little special amazing um walmart box cutter and like honestly you guys when i film videos back to back to back like everything around me just gets torn up um but this wrapper is so thick i know some of you guys are probably like please get to the point um but every time I film like a bunch of videos in one day, just all sitting in one location, like it's just trash behind me. Uh, but I unboxed, I don't know when this video is going to come out on Graveyard Girl, but I got like a super huge surprise box from Dolls Kill and it was just full of so many amazing cute things. But it was like a three foot by two foot or like three and a half foot by two foot box. It weighed over 40 pounds and it was just chock full of goodies. And so like all the clothing wrappers and everything are all around me this giant box is all around me uh so this is what we're gonna be looking at today and i'm probably most excited by the house fly oh my gosh the green caterpillar is so cute as well so these are gonna be labbit keychains i don't remember what the last labbits we opened on this channel were uh because i think it was last year at some time and they might have been the food ones I feel like those were so cute and I feel like you guys loved them. We had like soda ones that were so cute because part of them were like transparent and we had some that looked like SpaghettiOs. They, they were very, very cute. And so we have an entire case to open today. I think there are 24 in here as usual. I'm gonna stop and take a thumbnail before I forget. So yes, 24, let's get started. I know I feel like, I feel like I'm in like a zippy mood, right? But also I feel like he lived like a full, vivacious, amazing life. And so I feel like that's a little, it makes it a little bit easier for me to deal with. Um, 
but still I don't know I feel like it also just maybe hasn't like completely hit me yet but I don't I don't know I'm just kind of like dealing well in the moment I don't know we'll see how this week goes but that's why I figured I would try and like film a bunch of videos like all in one day just in case like I start to actually like experience a range of emotions which is obviously like very normal um but I don't know you guys are probably looking at me now and being like what are you talking about like you sound like so with it maybe it's the caffeine I don't know what's going on let's look at our first labbit oh my gosh these are not keychains I thought that they were gonna be keychains I don't know why um but they are just little labbit collectibles these are so cute I feel like it has been a hot minute since I have seen um just little labbit figurines that are this size normally when they're this small they are keychains so this is the ladybug and we will be seeing them two out of 24 times i don't know what's the most rarest one. Oh my gosh the housefly is one out of every 24 and i'm trying to see if there's like a secret or okay black widow is one out of every 48 there's a fruit fly that's three out of every 48. It's just, it's not chipper. I feel like I always say like, I'm going to stop coming on here and like talking about crazy stuff. And then every single time I sit down, I'm just like, this is just the channel where I just come to unburden myself. Um, also, I don't know if I have like red marks all over my face. I'm sure that video will go up before this one, but I just tried those like, ew, zit sticker things and I didn't think they were kind of like messing with my skin but maybe they were just a little bit anyway um number two. Oh my gosh this one is so cute and I don't even know what kind of bug it is this is is this the fruit fly no this is the hand maiden I don't even know what kind of insect that is are we learning things today are we learning things I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. Weird singing interlude. I don't know. In some ways he was kind of like another grandpa to me. Like I didn't, like I wasn't like as close to him as my grandpa, grandpa. Cause you guys know, like literally like, oh my gosh, just one of the closest like influences in my life. But I feel like he was also like somebody I really went to for like guidance and advice and all kinds of stuff like that. And so it's just definitely like you start to just think like, now who do you ask, you know? Um, and so I guess that's just kind of like where I'm at right now is it's just like you just kind of feel like there's an empty space in your life. This is like a dreary conversation that I feel is so weird that I'm just like, I don't know. Like I have fake eyelashes on. I feel like you just don't cry when you're wearing fake eyelashes. They just like force you to emote less. Uh, this one is a real cute guy. Who is this? Oh my gosh, this is the green caterpillar and it's so adorable. Look at this. How about a little focusing? Low focusing. Thank you so much. Look at his little face. That actually looks like an Adventure Time character. Which Dogman and I heard that this season is the last season of Adventure Time, supposedly. And I don't know. I'm kind of sad about that and like not so sad. Like I don't feel like the last couple of seasons have been that great. Like I love the first couple of seasons. Um, but it's almost like it seems to me and if this is not the case then forgive me um, I mean, I'm sure like any of those series is take like a, a like just a massive amount of thinking and concentration and effort that I can't even understand But like, you know, like do you guys remember when the whole thing came out about Spongebob where like supposedly the original like Spongebob people didn't want to keep doing Spongebob But it was like something they were contractually obliged to do and so they just kept doing it who do we have here? Somebody green. It's a jewel beetle. That's so cool. Okay, so this one is two out of every 24. I hope that I've remembered to tell you guys the different rarenesses and everything. Once again, bear with me today. Bear with me today. I feel like you guys are always bearing with me. Um, what was I talking about? Yes, SpongeBob. Um, you can kind of, I don't know. That's like what Adventure Time has felt like to me for the past couple of seasons. I feel like I just sucked up a little tiny hair into my mouth and I'm not enjoying it. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, 
Cause like forever, like we would like buy a season on iTunes and then I feel like there were these great gaps like waiting for new episodes, which once again, I mean, it just, I don't know. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, I'm sure. So maybe that's the reason, but I'm just also kind of like, do they just not, not want to do this anymore? And I don't know. It's just like the feeling of the episodes have felt like a little bit less whimsical to me, a little bit more different. I don't know. I sound like a hater, but it's it's kind of the same way of like Rick and Morty where I love season one and two and I just could not get into season three at all. So I mean, I felt like I had like eight good seasons with Adventure Time and then I have not been able to get into like the past two or three episodes for a really long time. The last thing that I liked from Adventure Time, we got a repeat ladybug, by the way. So this is the second one out of 24. So we will not not see the ladybug again um but i feel like the last thing from adventure time that i really liked was the like marceline it was like a season outside of another it was kind of like a six episode special i think but it was really cool it was like all like kind of like a vampire hunting journey um with marceline and i really love that character obviously she's a vampire of course i do um and so I felt, I felt like I really enjoyed that. Oh my gosh, is this the red ant? This is so cute. It is. So this one is two out of every 24 as well. And once again, it has an adorable little face. These are so cute. I'm not going to lie. The antennas kind of freak me out just a little bit. Like looking at bug legs, they really just kind of freak me out. And this, this is really going to freak you guys out. I don't even know if I should say this or not, but like, did you guys see the runway show like four or five years ago where they used actual bug legs as fake eyelashes? Like I would no sooner put that on my face than the freaking man in the moon. Like that is people who are like dedicated to their jobs, like runway models. Like I feel like the amount of like crazy stuff that they attach to those people is just like, Oh my gosh. Um, bless. Who do we have here? I don't even know what this bug is, but once again, he looks really happy. He's the swallowtail caterpillar. You guys, so many of these bugs. One thing I'm never out of them. He almost looks like he has eyebrows and I'm living for it. Oh my gosh, the battery is blinking at me. When I was filming the last video for Graveyard Girl, my memory card ran out of memory. I'm a mess, you guys, I'm a mess. I think I'm about to invest in this like really nice new camera, but I'm feeling reinvigorated lately and I am, I think, I think I'm gonna commit to doing that. Oh, we have a red ant repeat. I think he was two out of every 24. So that is the last time we're gonna see him. Yes, ooh, there's one in here called a leaf beetle. One out of every 24, looks pretty cool. It looks pink, let's see, okay. Oh my gosh, what is this one? Is this a bee? It kind of looks like a bee, obviously. It is uh, bee colored. Do bees really have stripes like this or is this just kind of like the animated, um, animated bee form? And I don't know why looking at this bee reminds me of what I'm gonna look for on Etsy tonight. For some reason I have decided I want like an old cheerleader uniform to just wear, just as clothing. I don't know why, I don't know why, but I think today is the day to look for that, but look at this cute little bumblebee on my cute little face. And I think he is two out of every 24. So we're gonna be seeing him again. Um, oh my gosh, we are almost done with the whole top row. That's wild. Um, I feel like this has been going really fast and really slow. Oh my gosh, we got our little caterpillar friend again. What was he called? The swallowtail caterpillar. If you guys know anything about these insects, leave me some comments, leave me some factoids down below. Um, I don't know what else I was gonna talk about in this video today. I didn't really come with many clear thoughts or preparations. What do we have? Oh my gosh, wait, is it the same one again? Oh, he is. Look, we got the, no. What is this one? We did get this one before already, the shield bug. Wait, did I not even show this to you guys? Or did I call it the wrong thing? Because I know I showed this to you guys, but I think this is called a shield bug. I don't know what I thought it was. Oh, I said it was a jewel beetle. 
but it's not. This is called a shield bug. So we got the second one of these, which is two out of every 24. I have never heard of these. These are so cool. How many times have I said that in the sense? But I am always repeating myself. Um, let's see here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is cute. So I thought that there were two types of bees, but then I just noticed on the box that there's a bee and a wasp. So they look a lot alike. But this one is the wasp and he has the angry face and this one is the bee and he's so happy. I kind of like the wasp even though he's kind of like angry and frowning. I still find that very cute. And let's see how many wasps we're gonna get. He is two out of every 24. So we will be seeing him again. Um, wasp, wasp, Mr. Wasp. That's not a song. I don't know what I'm singing. Let me see. Okay, right as I was singing one of my obnoxious little songs, the battery actually died. So we got another bumblebee. I can't remember if this is the second one we've seen or the third. He's only two out of every 24. So this is just the second bumblebee that we have seen. I feel like I'm thinking of third because we did just get the wasp, which is very, very similar. Um, okay. You know what I feel like I would have a lot of fun doing on this channel would be another one of like looking at old photographs. Like I was kind of scanning through the videos that we've done on this channel so far and that one was really fun. And also I feel like, did we do like a looking at old clothes video or did I just show you guys like that one pair of jeans? Also, jumping topics again, I really feel like I need to get like a back brace or something to force me to sit up because I feel like my posture is getting so grotesquely bad that I'm just like smushing all of my internal organs and it doesn't feel good. So this is clearly the jewel bug because he does have like a really cool pearlescent look and I hope that sheen is coming off. I hope it's coming on the camera so you guys can see it. Hello! I love their little faces. I'm literally living for these little guys. Uh, this one is two out of every 24, so we will be seeing him again. I'm loving the lashes that I'm wearing today. They are exaggerate. You know what? I will type the style down below for you guys. They are from Ilore, and I know that the style is called exaggerate, but they have like several different lashes in that exaggerate line they have like a special number and i love these so much i feel like they're really comfortable and like dramatic but not too dramatic you know what i mean i have this like string hair in the way okay this is what is this one handmaiden i have never what is that is that like a variety of butterfly it must be, it has like a very vibrant look to it, like butterfly type look. Look at its cute little face, look at its cute face. Um, that one is three out of every 48. So we will probably see that one again. Um, kind of the three out of every 48, how many you see them is if you get some of the super rare ones or not. There's not like a complete mystery chase figure in this set. Um, but that's okay. Sometimes there is one, sometimes there's not, and I'm so happy because we did just get the house fly. And I think I said he's one out of every 48, but this like really reminds me of like, you know, the fly. And I think it was the super old one where he says, help me, help me. He gets like stuck in a fly, not in a fly trap, in a spider web if you've seen the movie you know what i'm talking about it's comical it's it's like the version from the 60s i know that there was like 30 different versions with i think jeff goldblum subsequent to the original ones but i always like like ye old horror movies okay one out of every 24 is the house fly and i'm loving him he's probably my favorite so far uh although i do love the jewel one as well and i love the wasp i love the ant i love them all they're all so cute i feel like maybe this is the fourth video i filmed today so i'm kind of like losing my voice oh my gosh something else just flashed red on this camera i thought that this battery was dying too and i'm like what is earth what's going on here today um who do we have oh it's our little caterpillar friend again right this one looks like he has different markings on his back 
but he also looks just like the caterpillar. I'm trying to find him in the stack of labbits down here. I don't know what I did with that one. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, that's crazy. I just didn't notice the little white dots on the back for some reason. I must have been talking about something crazy at that time. So it just whoop, blipped out of my head. What was that called? It was called the green caterpillar. So that one was two out of every 24. So we will not be seeing him again. We have seven left, including this box right here. Um, so you guys are gonna have to let me know if you liked the ball jointed doll or not. I don't know if it's exciting enough on this channel to just bring like one item to look at or if you guys like it better when I do like bigger unboxings like this. This has got to be a moth. Yes. Okay. One out of every 24, our little moth friend. And I love his little mouth. It is so cute. Look at him. He has little wings. So cute. So cute. So cute. I still have fake zits everywhere and like slime from fake zits. I hope that that video like did not disturb anybody too bad. It really wasn't as gross as I thought they were gonna be. Like I honestly kind of thought that it was gonna make me nauseous, but I'm fine. I'm, I'm doing great. Um, let's open this up. Okay, after this one, we only have five left. I don't know who we're missing or if we're just down to duplicates now. This is the jewel beetle again. Okay, there is a gold beetle. We haven't seen that one yet. One out of every 48, we might not see that one. And then I'm trying to see who else we're missing, if anybody. Oh, there's also a monarch butterfly, a black widow a leaf beetle. So we do still have a lot to see, but the black widow is one out of every 48 and the gold beetle is one out of every 48. So we probably won't see both of those, which is a shame because they both sound pretty awesome. Like I bet the gold beetle is actually like a gold metallic one. And then the black widow just sounds cool because it's a spider. Uh, we have another little angry wasp dude, but he's so cute. He's so cute. Okay, um, four left. Are we gonna see either of the one out of 48? I guess maybe we don't necessarily have to. I don't know. Um, you guys, what is this one? Oh my gosh, okay, this one is so cool. Okay, we got the Black Widow. And now I think maybe this one is my favorite one because it feels so wild. It almost feels like it has like a PVC coating to it. Hopefully that makes sense. I mean, because they are all like vinyl toys, but this one just feels like thick and like shiny, like different somehow. I don't know, it's so cool. I don't think out of all the vinyls that I have that I have another one that feels like that or has that kind of finish. That one is really cool. I'm glad we got that one because I know that I have other metallic vinyls in my collection, but I don't have any of them that are like that. That's so cool. Um, You guys, okay, the next thing that I'm gonna tell you guys about. It's like a little project that I have in my head that I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. Um, but I have this idea that it would be cool to like buy a used Jeep and turn it into like a Halloween car. Like a Halloween car. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I just think it would be like fun. I don't, I don't know how much Jeeps cost though. Um, is this the fruit fly? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I don't know, like I feel like I used to have, okay, my first car that I ever got in my life in high school was a Toyo Toyota Echo. And I'm so sad because I you literally don't see any of those on the road anymore. Um, but I think I got it in 2002 or 2003. I think it was 2002 because I got it like my junior year going into senior year. Um, but I used to love to like 
do things to that car. Like I had like extra headlights and like light kits put in it and on it. And it was like a fun hobby that I had, but I don't feel like I have a car now. And then I had one of the original XBs and I also like did stuff like that to that car. Um, but I don't feel like I've, I don't feel like I've had a car in a long time. I love cars, seriously. I don't feel like I've had a car in a long time that you can like customize and do stuff to. And so I thought it would be so much fun to just get like an orange Jeep and to like just play around with it and like, I don't know, mod it, do a bunch of different stuff to it. But to get an orange one and like do like orange and black. Like I've always wanted to have a car with a CB radio in it. I don't even know why. I don't even know if people still use CB radios. But I feel like that's the kind of stuff that you can have installed in a Jeep. And you just kind of like can't do that in other cars. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I might do that and I feel like it would be just like something. Like kind of like a little passion project I could throw myself in. But I don't know. They might be really expensive. I have no idea. I've never like looked up the price. I just have had this idea for like a couple of months. And I'm like oh. Maybe I'll do that. And I was kind of like looking on Amazon. And I found like all of these like cool products to test out with like a Jeep. Like there's like a hammock and a swing. And like all this crazy stuff that you can like not test with other cars. And so now I'm like why not it's an excuse um so we got our little leaf bug that is the last one and this one is so so cute it's like a light pink color that's so cute it's so cute it's so cute but I don't know I feel like I always get these passion projects which if you watch my videos a lot you know what I mean because I'm always like oh I'm starting on this I'm gonna do that I'm thinking about this <laughs> and it's like a toss-up if I ever actually like finish it or not the 90s room is still happening you guys but I kind of like got I don't know like I have everything like set up or like let's just say I've been buying things to decorate but I have not been able to decide like which way I really want to take it if I want to take it more kind of like grunge 90s or like super cute like pink pastel 90s I have to show you guys if it wasn't buried in my saved Instagram post I would pull it up now hopefully I'll remember by the time I film the next video for this channel you guys I feel like I have gone blind with these lights today maybe it's just the eyelashes look I will turn it back on I will put on these glasses um anyway I so I've kind of like been stumped with what color to paint the walls but hopefully I'll remember to show you guys this saved post because it was so cute it was all like pastel like pinks purples teals so cute like that kind of 90s aesthetic and then I'm like oh it would also be like so cool to do it like all grunge and like maybe like paint like a check pattern on parts of the walls kind of like Clarissa explains it all style because oh my gosh that was the room that I like lived and died for in the 90s like I feel like if you were a 90s kid you fell in love with like one room that you saw on TV and I was like a Nickelodeon kid oh my god I just noticed what's on these glasses is freaking pimple juice that's so disgusting um anyway I feel like there I was like a Nick Nickelodeon kid um and so I felt like those were the rooms that I always thought were so cool and I feel like I love Clarissa explains it all I feel like I loved her room the best so I don't know I'm kind of thinking like do I kind of like recreate that but do it in my own way I don't know I don't know we shall see different conversation for a different day maybe I should take you guys paint swatch shopping with me maybe that would be fun but thank you guys for hanging out today and for watching I'm sorry if some of the conversation was a little bit sad um but I don't know I feel like I just come here and like just talk to you guys unedited about whatever is going on um so that's it for today stay happy stay healthy stay sassy and I will hopefully be seeing you guys very soon again on this channel I feel like I've been here daily lately and that makes me feel happy. I don't know. I wish that I could come to this channel every single day and wind down. That would be amazing. I don't know. Hopefully we'll get there one day. But I love you guys and I will see y'all soon. Bye.